So today we are going to do a video basically for parents who had a Cocolilla carrier and they are unaware of how to adjust the neck support right. Okay, so basically this neck support cushion is pinned to the button over here inside the panel at both ends. Okay, and this is how the neck cushion is being placed in a newborn setting. For a newborn, this panel height can also be adjusted. Okay, so basically if you are using it this way for a newborn, the child is pretty round in it, it's not the right way to do. You need to firstly maximize it into the shortened panel size. Okay, and then you realize that, oh, this is a little messy. What should I do next? What, 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 what is going on? How come Fionn can make it neater and I can't? <laughs> so everyone can do it actually. So what you need to do is just to tuck this inwards. Alright, nicely, neatly, so that it doesn't clump up and uh, makes the baby feel uncomfortable. So what you need to do is to make sure that you slide your fingers through and nicely, neatly. If you need more help, there's a S-shaped sitting over here if you rightly place it maximally at the panel height at the shortest. Hold it this way, the other side as well. So both sides, you give a snug pull. It should snug up and neaten up as well. Okay, so other than that, remember that this should be rested where? At the mid-year region, correct? So you should also tuck in this according to the height of a child. If taller, you pull it higher. If shorter, you put it lower, that kind of thing. And this can be angled. So basically, if let's say you don't like it straight, you can leave it and make sure that the angle that the child is facing, you put more at the head area to create a pillow support and the front uh, isn't too much of a material rubbing on the face of the child if they have sensitive skin especially avoid that all right if let's say um you are holding the child too close and they can't even move their head it shouldn't be that as well the child should be able to freely move their head from left to right but yet it gives you a boundary so if you want to pick things up from the floor and you forgot that somehow you're so busy with the things you do and you have a baby on you <laughs> basically you bend downwards the child can't fall as well so basically the child that has a weak neck will actually just lean this way and this is the max that they can go that's the purpose of the neck support okay so in if the face the child is facing the other way it works the same way too so um, I hope this helps and address some of your questions. Yeah, thank you.